Montreal, shortly after a run of his place love was cancelled amid accusations of racial insensitivity, Quebec director Robert Lepage is once again being criticized for a lack of representation in one of his stage shows. About 30 people signed an open letter in Le Devour on Saturday to denounce Lepage for not including indigenous performers in his upcoming show, Canada, stage director Robert Lepage's new show, which claims to explore Canada's history through the lens of the relationship between white and aboriginal people, will be performed in Paris by a French acting group in December, Sean Kilpatrick, the Canadian press file photo, the show, which claims to explore Canada's history, through the lens of the relationship between white and aboriginal people, will be performed in Paris by a French acting group in December. Métis actor and theatre director Dave Jenis, who signed the letter, said it was too bad the show's producers decided to consult indigenous people when creating the show, but not to include them in the final performance. Once again, they take our stories, they question aboriginals and then push them aside completely, he said in a phone interview. Article continued below the letter's signatories referred to an interview with Paris theatre director Ariane Nochkine, who told Le Devar that the performance will not include any North American actors. The Théâtre du Soleil has said it is the first time it's invited a guest director, in this case Lepage, to lead its troupe in a performance. Jenis said the goal of the letter isn't to censor anyone, but rather to invite the show's creators to reflect on why indigenous artists are not included in Kannada. Next time, I think there needs to be a stronger association with indigenous people, he said. The letter was signed by about 20 indigenous artists and activists as well as a dozen or so known indigenous allies that include lawyers, artists and academics. The controversy comes after Montreal's Jazz Festival cancelled a multi-night run of the Lepage-led Place Love amid protests by activists who claimed that it amounted to cultural appropriation because it featured a white woman and largely white cast singing songs composed by black slaves. A representative for Lepage's production company said he wasn't immediately available to comment.